I see all rocks reporting from down under. Um, I'm just putting out this alert because I can't see any of this in the uh, in the uh, in the mainstream media, uh, and yet over the last few, well, I don't know, a week, two weeks, I can't remember how long it was. I've been following this that the uh, the war in Ukraine is flaring up just within a couple of months of Joe Biden coming to power. Is this is this the new uh, Hillary Clinton that the Russians? so worried about. Anyway, the Ukrainians seem to have amassed large numbers uh, of, uh, of troops. I've heard somewhere between 50,000 and 100,000 on the border with, uh, well, at least, uh, at least with Donbass. And in the last uh, day or so, there's been an absolutely huge mobilization of Russian troops on the uh, on the border, um, and I've seen this as a deterrent by the Russians, and nobody would be mad enough to uh, you know to provoke the Russians in this way. They seem to mean business uh, this time, but uh, from news I've seen today, it seems that that level of insanity is there. So I'm just going to share this one item. It comes from the Greek press. Um, they seem to be the only ones who are talking about this. This is uh, this is just a Google Translate. Um, it says, conflict begins. Kiev, US will support us in the conflict with Russia. Uh, the American weapon system of the Persian Gulf go to Donbass. And they say, say in all, the gates of hell are opening as the Pentagon is fully confirmed as the Americans give the green light to Kiev for an attack against the Russian speakers. Ukrainian Defense Minister Andrei Taran, after talks with US counterpart Lloyd Austin, announced Washington's willingness to provide military assistance to Kiev in the event of a military conflict with Russia, as we reported earlier today. Taran says US has pledged military aid to Ukraine. In the event of an escalation of Russian aggression, the uh, United States will not leave Ukraine alone and will not allow the Russian Federation to pursue its aggressive ambitions against Ukraine. At the same time in Donbass, the mobilization for the 18 to 27 age group has started. And then it says, goes on, said Persian Gulf weapon systems ready to reach Donbass. President Joe Biden has ordered the uh, Pentagon to removing Patriot missiles and military forces from the Persian Gulf region. The move of the new US president aims at moving the military equipment to more key positions, especially against China and Russia. U.S. officials are considering proposals to remove additional military equipment from the region in a bid to force Russia and China to retreat in the Rak de Fair diplomatic rampage. Uh, rampage. And then uh, early answer from Russia. Earlier in the day, Sergei Lavrov said that the outbreak of war in Donbass would lead to the collapse of Ukraine. The President Biden presidency begins with the United States coming to the fourth front of international developments in an effort to make up for its absence from the international arena under Trump. And uh, I'll just play this. Okay. So there's lots of stuff here. It's a picture of huge Russian fuel convoy in Crimea. And uh, this is Ukrainian armed forces movement. Uh, 
Yeah. Nicer without the music. So there's heaps of stuff here showing quite categorically that something's afoot. And yet, when I look in the media, I can find absolutely none of this. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Uh, obviously, I'm finding this extremely uh, worrying. Uh, Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. Just as a postscript, I'll just say that I've been giving a lot of coverage uh, to this in my blog, which is now seymourrocks.is. I'll leave a, um, a link in the description box below. I hope you'll go and have a look, because I've got lots and lots of coverage. I've dropped more or less everything to cover this.